Oh, it's tough boss hacks. Oh, I remember having to do it. It was so tough. Yeah, it took me at least one go. Right, let's have a look at Rock Band Blitz. Band Blitz is a brand new take on the franchise, but this time it's a strictly controller-controlled affair. Which means there's no microphone. Nope. And no singing. No, but that didn't really stop you, did it? Negative. If you feel like... Darren, it's not recording your voice. There's no reason for you to be singing right now. I swear I'll behave. I'm doing the vocal bit with the controller. Oh. Now, this game is actually a throwback to developer Harmonix's first two games, Amplitude and Frequency. Yeah, songs are split up into lanes that represent the different instruments, and each lane only has a left and right note, so the note charts are more of a rough interpretation of each part. Although it's quite surprising how much it feels like you're playing the part with just those two notes. This game is really all about the high scores. You can't fail. If you miss a note, you just miss out on points. And if you play well for a while, you'll fill up the Blitz meter and activate Blitz mode, speeding up the lanes and giving you some extra points. But the key to getting high scores is to continually swap between lanes, raising each multiplier up before you hit checkpoints. Because once you hit the checkpoint, your multiplier level cap gets raised up, but only to your lowest multiplier. So if you raise every lane to the highest possible multiplier between a checkpoint, then your level cap will increase by three. But if you haven't increased a multiplier on a lane, then your level cap will stay put, holding you back from potentially much higher scores. There is a bit of strategy in picking which song to play and when. Do you focus on one track at a time until each is at the highest multiplier? Or do you swap around like mad and try to raise each one a little bit? Knowing the songs obviously helps a lot with that. For example, if a song doesn't have any main keyboard parts, then it's important to hit those notes when they come up, otherwise you won't get the multiplier up in time. And this is what I enjoyed most in the game, that strategy. Yeah, it's definitely fun, but you know, with games like Rock Band and Guitar Hero, you really got into that zen state as you became absorbed in the part you're playing. But here you're constantly having to, you know, switch between parts, so I don't know, I never really quite got into that groove. Each song you complete earns you both Rockstar cred and coins, and as you earn more cred, you'll unlock a bunch of power-ups you can use during a song, but each one costs a bunch of coin every time you use it. Yes, and finding the right combination of power-ups is key to climbing up that leaderboard, and if you have friends playing the game, you can see what scores they've earned as well, and that eggs you on a bit. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, but as fun as chasing friends on a leaderboard is, I would have liked some form of proper, actual multiplayer. I mean, music games have always been about getting friends over and, and all having a go together. Together, but, you know, you're forever alone here. Anyway, what did you guys think of the all-important song list? I thought the 25 songs had a good mix of tracks from just about every genre. And there are definitely some classics with songs from Queen, The Chili Peppers, Ooh. Elton John and Tears for Fears. I like that if you own Rock Band, all of these songs are automatically imported into it, and all of the DLC in Rock Band works with this as well. But we should wrap this up. Final thoughts, Hex? Well, personally, I'd much rather just dust off the old plastic guitar and, and have a go with some friends at some of the old games. But, you know, it's an enjoyable arcade take on the series. I'm giving it seven. Yeah, I'm with you on that. There's nothing like holding a guitar and just rocking out. But for what this is, I think they did a good job. So I'm giving it seven and a half. <laughs> No, no score this time, Darren? Negative. With no singing component, it's simply not possible to process an appropriate score to the correct decimal place. Mm.